I've just revealed the best supplements to blast your belly. But to finish the job, you also have to eat less. Now, to do that, I've got a miracle appetite suppressant to kill your hunger. You've had a tough day, overwhelmed, stressed. You immediately reach for the one thing you know will calm you, food. And emotional eating packs on the pounds and puts your health at risk. Compulsive behaviors like overeating can stem from low levels of serotonin, one of your body's primary mood regulators. The same hormone that when low triggers depression and anxiety. But now breakthrough research reveals a revolutionary way to suppress your appetite. Saffron extract, a natural spice that annihilates your urge to overeat. Could saffron be the miracle appetite suppressant to kill your hunger and squash your cravings once and for all? <laughs> saffron extract. Now, who, who has heard of this before? Put your hands up. A couple of folks. I, I had never heard of this. So here's what the science says about how saffron extract can suppress your appetite to control the emotional eating. Now, we know why we emotionally eat, but let me show you in an animation what's really happening. So you crave carbohydrates. Why is that? When you take carbohydrates and put them up in your mouth, you actually are turning on chemicals in your brain. These are chemicals like serotonin, norepinephrine. You've heard of these, dopamine. They turn on this pleasure sensation, this craving you have, and they give you satisfaction from doing this, some relief. When you take a pill, like what we're talking about today with saffron, it goes into your intestinal system, it goes up to your brain and does the same thing to your brain. So it stimulates the release of those same chemicals, gives that feeling of relief without that short-term hit from the carbohydrates. So when you see food, you don't have to put it in. You don't feel addicted to have to put it in there. You can actually, nice smile, isn't it? Yeah. You actually have the ability to say no without struggling. Now remember, when you take carbohydrates in to make the brain feel good, that gives you a temporary support to the brain of relief, but you add the weight. That's why I think using an alternative like saffron makes more sense. Now, it has no calories in this, but you want to look for a specific blend that's called satyral saffron extract. It's the one that's been used in the studies that we have looked at. Uh, and the, the, the study that I'm quoting specifically used 88 milligrams twice a day. And we'll put that up on DrOz.com so you know what the right dose is. When they gave it to folks, who were allowed to eat whatever they wanted. That's the key part. They were allowed to eat whatever they want. They snacked significantly less, and they lost body weight even though they were allowed to eat whatever they want. Now, when I hear that, that's a wake-up call for me. It costs about $30 for a month's supply. Now, I didn't want to just talk about this based on the research that we had read about. We actually wanted to do the study ourselves. So we asked two audience members, Martha and Devin, who are self-proclaimed emotional eaters, come join me. Uh, who agreed to try the saffron extract over the weekend to see if it actually curbed their appetite. So thank you very much for joining me. Come on over here, Martha. So again, I, I, I'm, I'm going to just hear your story for the first time right now. So Martha, mm -hmm. let me start with you. Do you, uh, you believe that your emotions drive your eating. Is yes. that correct? Yes. And pretty reproducibly? Pretty much. So who do you get mad at uh, that leads you to eat? My kids. Your kids. <laughs> All right. And when you start taking the saffron extract, how did it impact on the emotional eating? Actually, I was, I didn't get that, that craving and that urge. Mm -hmm. And honestly, this weekend was the real test. It was? Yeah, because it was my <laughs> nephew's birthday, and we had a uh, birthday cake for him. But yes. this weekend, I had my little piece, and I didn't, I didn't have that craving like I normally do. Yeah. Uh, usually, during the week around 9 o'clock, the cake or sweets are calling me. This weekend, nothing. Does this sound familiar, folks? Yeah, yeah a lot of folks. All right, Devin. Yes. My, my other experiment this weekend. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how did you find this affected your appetite? On a scale from 1 to 10, initially I would rate my hunger as a 10 and 11. Um, when, I get <laughs> <laughs> when I get hungry, I just reach for whatever's around. Muffins, bagels, cakes, pies, mm -hmm. chips, you name it. If it's around me, I'm going to grab it. But once I started taking these over the weekend, I did notice a decrease in the amount of hunger and the intensity of that hunger. I didn't feel like I was going to snap if I didn't have anything to eat. I was mm -hmm. feeling really good this So weekend. give me a number between 1 and 10. Now, yeah. since I've been taking them, I would say 7. 7. Yes. That's, that's a good reduction. Yes. Okay. I mean, we, we want you to use these with everything else that you're supposed to be doing right. But if we can get you past that, that need that your brain is yes. pushing you, mm -hmm. I can give you that crutch that you have to get past it. Okay. Yes. Coming over here. I'm going to weigh you guys, if you don't mind. Now, before the show, uh, we got your most recent weight, and we know what you were when you first started. So if it's okay, I'm going to share it with the audience. Okay. Is it okay? Sure. All right. So, uh, Martha, why don't we start with you? 
Okay. So let's put Martha's weight up here. Martha, in three days, you lost three pounds. That's good. A pound a day is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make you happy? You happy? Wow. <laughs> and Devin, in that same three-day period, you lost five pounds. <laughs> so Devin, you lost eight pounds oh in my three God. days. We're just using the SAP on next step. I'm speechless. I'm ecstatic. Happy? Yes. Yeah. Go high five. Go high five. <laughs> <laughs>